Woohoo! I'm in my car and it can only mean one thing. Road trip! Was it cheering? <laughs> okay, I will admit that I'm actually going on this um, road trip, but this is where I'm going. That's it, Bonnie Scotland, see ye Jimmy. <laughs> Iron brew and Scotch whiskey. And maybe a haggis or two. <laughs> all seriousness aside. No, no, all joking aside, let's have some seriousness. I am actually doing another video and it's for my other channel and it's a Beatles tour video. If you like the Beatles, I'm gonna put a link up here. But while I'm here, I've actually got my camera gear with me. So I'm gonna do a drive, what, what, what am I calling them? Shoot what you see. And this will be entitled Postcards from Scotland. I'm not actually going to hunt out specific locations. I just know that as I'm doing my tour of Scotland, doing my other video, I'm just gonna see some splendorous sights that are worthy of taking photographs. So I hope you'll bear with me. I hope you'll come along. And, um, you know, I hope I don't make it too long. There's so much to see here. Um, and there's so many wondrous sights, castles, mountains, locks, oh, so much. Postcards from Scotland. So come along and um, let's see what I can capture with my camera. So yeah, postcards from Scotland. Hope you enjoy. Let's do it. <laughs> Look at me without my baseball hat. <laughs> I've left it in the car. There's a car in the background there. Can you see it? Trusty old beast racing around Scotland. Now just down that way is the um, Skyfall Road with Daniel Craig, the Aston Martin M. But we're talking 10 miles before you get to the location. So that's not on the cards today. <laughs> However, I'm parked outside Bukaletif Moor. Beautiful, beautiful honeypot location mountain. Cloud at the moment, but I was just driving by and I thought, I've got to, I've got to snap that. Normally people take a shot of it from over somewhere over there where the bridge is and um, you get the waterfall and kind of you can put running water. But I'm going to go with this Heather. Heather, not Heather McCartney, not Heather Mills. Let's move that out of shot so that I, I'm not blocking it. That's what I've got. Beautiful. There's nothing I can put in to give you perspective. There's no houses, there's no sheep on the side. It's just a massive, big mountain. If I move to the left there, there's your perspective because you've got the road. I wonder if I pull it right back here. I'm already at 18 mil. Might do a pano actually. Take it that side. One there and one there. And that gives me the road so that I've got some perspective. So ISO 100, it wants a 25th of a second and I'm, I'm good with that. We're just gonna get a nice pano of Bucoletic Moor with the road. What I might well do is I'll do some in painting, get rid of the signposts. That's shot one. Mmm, very nice. Just bring it round, I don't have to change anything. Just gonna give myself a wide enough pano to get Bucoletif more all lit up. Gosh, that's beautiful. What a beautiful mountain. Can I just get right into the crags? Just a random shot. So I've got two shots for you, Bukaletif Moor. While I'm here at Glencoe, I'm going to get the um, three sisters and try and get the one with the little white house <laughs> somewhere along here. Let's do it. Oh, I'll show you this picture and I'll do it.
just amazing just being able to pull up and be somewhere <laughs> I've got the hat on now so we've got some cloud coming over but I might just wait because this is what I've got the little white house and in terms of adding something man-made to a landscape image there's nothing quite like giving me the perspective of that little house to that but of course I'm not one for trekking thousands of miles because as I turn <laughs> all the cars and the main A82 is there a quick what three words down here I think this is the location for this one it's it's just postcard scenery isn't it postcards from Scotland that's what I'm aiming at getting at here and it's it's times like this I really wish I had a 10 to 24 lens because I just don't I, I've, I've got 18 mil but it's not wide angle really but 18's given me that but I'll still have to do a pano to get a left and a right we've got the edge of the three this isn't the three sisters image on the right there but the three sisters mountains are just the next ones along oh look at that sun coming across the valley yes 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 okay quick shot then set it up yes I know I wish I had a wide angle lens but I can work with it we can work with everything that's shot one down here <laughs> I'm pointing so that I know where it's going afterwards I've got a little solitary white camper on the road which I will have to clone out it's a shame really but I love the washes of light on the cliff faces better be quick there right the sun's coming down now so that's shot two here's the quick panel while I set up for the next shot So I've got the sun washing in now I've got how far can to the left can I take that I'm gonna take it to here quick live view for you I'm gonna get the edge of the scope coming of, of the slope coming down there and then I'll hang it round to the right to get the slope on the right that's the sun's just coming in if I get it right I'll get the little cottage illuminated so I'm pushing it to f20 see how much of the foreground for my depth of field I can get it wants a tenth of a second but I can work with that can you see it can you see the Sun washing down now right across the cliff face will it hit will it hit the cottage the cottage could be a lovely image and I like the man-made element you've got the bridge on the left and you've got the cottage which really emphasizes the awe and majesty of what that mountain is people climb up that they do seriously on their best days ever they'll come out here and do that okay so everything is set up locked in focus oops I'm just waiting a moment for the Sun to wash onto the cottage will it happen but then if it washes on the cottage I lose it on the mountain so I'm just gonna go for it you know shot one postcards from Scotland very nice shot two uh, stitch them together you'll get this pano I'm off to the other one so that I can get the three sisters if I can find a parking space Now I know it's not prime 
kind of atmosphere, sunset, sunrise would be wonderful with the different hues. Um, and I know it's a honeypot location. Everyone takes this shot. But what makes it unique is it's me doing it now. <laughs> and I've got these clouds, which will never appear again. So I'm going to set up. It's definitely got to be a little pano, I think, because again, I wish I had an 18, an 18, a 10 to 24, but I don't. It'll be, I'm trying to capture all three sisters. So the left, the middle, and the right. I kind of like the road. I do like a bit of man-made element in it, but look at the sky, isn't that glorious? But if I drop that down there, try and get it without the cars, I should be able to get a shot here, you know. I'm going to take two shots. I'm going to try it without the road, first and foremost, so that I've just got the lush green land. Shot one. I love the wash of the blue. Three shot pano quickly. At 18 mil just so that I can try and get everything in the shot yes I do oh yeah it's a strange one because I'm not I'm not straight on with the subject so I don't know if the pano will be large at one side and narrow at the end we'll just have to see when I get home do some post-processing on it look at that shot right down the valley with the road I like that it's that shot and then I just have to move slightly to the left to get the tail end of this one in. That'll be the shot, really. Maybe even do it in two. Sun is, sun is straight up, so it's really quite cool. I haven't got the sun. Maybe a, I don't know. I'm not, getting any, I'm not getting any lens flare, so that's fine. Right, two cars disappearing down the lane. One car coming up. <laughs> the lane, the main road. Is it the A82? You wait for the traffic and then the clouds disappear. Mm -mm. Not a good plan. Not a good plan at all. I love the steps. Right, that's shot one. Bring it around. Three shot again. So the plan is, do I get the shots with the road or do I get the shots without the road? Glencoe, you are beautiful. Mm -mm -mm. Despite the massacre, it's um, still a beautiful place. So there's shot three. So what I'm going to do is give you both panos. Here's a quick one. It's here and it's here. How do they compare? Which one do you prefer? Do you prefer it with the road? Do you prefer it without the road? Let me know. In the meantime, I'm going to go down to one more location at the bottom there before carrying on with my other video and then stopping whenever I see something. So I'll give you those two shots independently now. Sometimes you just have to stop, despite this, on the, on, on, on the roadside. There's a question of, and, and I'm abandoning the um, tripod for now, because I don't have an Allen key, but I might be able to get a nice composition. I thought what I'd do is just try and compose a shot with the hills in the background, with the, um, the clouds, and the tugboat in the foreground. I think it's a tugboat. 
So atmospheric, isn't it? Gorgeous. It's not the boat. There is a boat, um, Fort William, that everyone takes a picture of with Ben Nevis in the background. Here's, here's a quick shot of that boat. Um, but I didn't stop there. <laughs> so I'm just going to take a shot of this one, you know. Get down low. Oh, it's lovely. It's a question of whether I get the rigging in as well. <laughs> Was I in the shot? Am I ever in the shot? That's the question. Like now. Hello. <laughs> I feel like Billy Crystal on City, City Slickers. He always goes, hello. Hello. Oh, it's so beautiful, isn't it? Look at that, look at that landscape. Postcards from Scotland. Wish you were here. Right, I am still going to Elindoni Castle. The rain has been on and off. That's, that's Scotland for you. But you just have to hang on for a few moments because as soon as it's here, before you know it, it's gone again. Okay, here's the picture with a bit of tweaking. Right, I've got to get in here really quick before it chucks it down with rain. I'm at Glengarry Viewpoint. I'll put a um, what three words link there for you. But I've got this wonderful view. Can you see that? I've got the different hues because of the, the clouds. There's a mountain range in the distance. Can you see that? So I'll take a shot of that because we can get that dehazed. I'm going to do a two-shot pano just for this section. I love this drive-by shooting. Just wonderful. Shot one. Quick two-shot pano there. Gets the, the different hues and the shades. Oh, I'm getting blues and all sorts. Very pleasant. There's the two shots. I will um, stitch them together for a pano after I've taken this shot. Looks like something from Mordor. Oh, it's fascinating. Loving it. Just when I thought Glencoe was wonderful. Oh, I like that. That's lovely. Right, you can have that one while I go and carry on. <laughs> Tell you what, Scotland is just amazing for all four seasons in one day. <laughs> Look at that. Is that not just amazing? I love the clouds. There's little kind of spurts of sunlight on the hill on the right, on the kind of green at the beginning of the lock. Oh, that's just amazing. See, if I come out at 18 mil, I get all this foreground, but I want I want the essence of the lock and the mountains, but maybe just with the trees like that. That's nice. So again, a clipping of a pano, three-shot pano, I think, just to get that F18. Hopefully depth of field will give me some focus on the foreground. That's shot one. Oh, I'm going 
gonna have to fix this lap fix this shot two we've got some tourists that's all right I don't mind talking to camera I'm not like Thomas Heaton he can't do it but that might be the actor in me <laughs> To be or not to be? That is the question. So three shots along the bottom, looking rather nice. Um, right, I'm going to Apple, Apple, what's it called? Apple Cross. I'm going to be driving it, but I have to go past Ellen Donan Castle. So let's go there. I'll show you the picture. Next time you see me, I'll be at Ellen Donan Castle. You almost want to spend hours and hours just to get a shot and a composition. I'm actually on a tight schedule. So it really is just, as, as I was driving down, the cloud had cleared up and the sun was shining on all the moss. It was just amazing. So I'm wondering if I can just hang on for a moment and see if I can get a wash of light on the castles, on the side of the castle. It looks amazing, doesn't it? Can I go down without breaking my ankle? <laughs> We're on the rocks now. Not like love though. Love on the rocks, see no surprise. Now that's quite nice, it's atmospheric. I'll pull back a bit, try and get some of the, maybe a panel that includes that island and that bit of the bridge. And then I'll do a shot just of the castle. So two shots then. That, clo that cloud's not gonna give it to me. I love that distant. Right, while I'm composing, have a quick look at that picture I just took. That is just amazing. It's silky smooth and mm, I like it. Right, you're having a look at that. I'm gonna do a two shot pano. No, three shot pano. <laughs> that's the only way I could do it I've got five shots um, which I can then stitch together and here, here they all are but I don't have to go as far right and as far left as I need to I'm just going to get the composition so that's that shot have a look It's a shame, I just want to... Well, two shots for the castle. No, I'm not going to spend any more time on it. It's, it is what it is. Yeah, it's pretty. Ellen Donan Castle. Mm -mm. Postcards from Scotland, remember? That's what we're doing at the moment. You know what, I should have called this video photographing the NC500. <laughs> I've just left Duness, which is the most northwesterly village in the UK. And I've got this. Is this not spectacular? This is Well, is that the is that the Atlantic? Where does the North Sea and the Atlantic meet? Round at um, Orkney and all of that. But I've got this amazing outcrop of rock that's going to take a nice picture but I've got the sun shining on the mountains in the background there Can you see that that's amazing and then the stacks so really zoom in and get a shot of that 
So yeah, three shots, the stacks, the mountains, and the rocks. <laughs> Here they are. Well, I think I'm going to call it quits there. Quit while I'm ahead. <laughs> I've taken loads of pictures. Um, perhaps not some of the honeypot locations people might expect. But then again, some of the honeypot locations people were expecting. But it's been fun. So, you know, thanks for watching, bearing with. But also on this trip, I've covered my beetles and I've also covered driving up the Balakh Nabar, the Apple Cross Pass. So if you look at this video, that will be the Balakh Nabar. And if you look at this video down here, that will be the Beatles video. So feel free to watch that and I will see you in another video. Bye for now. Love a road trip.